hello guys uh, welcome you all uh, this is your shakti academy uh, please like our video and share if you like uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel and press bell symbol so that you could get updated videos of our channel right on today the lesson is about the lost lesson by uh, alphonse dodat so you know that alphonse dodat was a french novelist as well as uh, short story writer uh, this lesson uh, was set up uh, during the franco Persian War between 1870 to 71, and finally uh, France was defeated by Persia and led by Bismarck. Right? Yes. So this story, uh, the lost lesson, is about uh, the character. Uh, I mean, a small boy named Franz uh, who was uh, very lazy and uh, who doesn't like to go school as well as uh, who doesn't like to learn French and uh, who hurt his uh, teacher much. Actually, here the main two main important characters are. First one is the small boy of uh, France, and the next one is uh, Mr. Hamel. Mr. Hamel is a French teacher who had been there for 40 years to teach French, right? Yes. So I started for my schools very late. That here I refers the small boy France. So that's what he is the narrator of the lesson. I started for schools very late that morning. It was a great dread of the scolding, especially Mr. Hamel had said that he would question us on participles. So here uh, it was the late morning that uh, Franz was uh, hurriedly going to school with a great uh, dread of scolding, which means a uh, great dread of scolding is uh, nothing but with a uh, fear, right? Yeah, so especially why he is getting a fear is nothing but previously in the before day Mr. Hamel had assigned a homework on a participle but here Franz did not read anything about the topic participle so that's what he is uh, getting fear whether Hamel asked a question about this now he doesn't know anything so that's what he is uh, getting uh, fear and I did not know the first word of them and for a moment I thought the running away from and uh, spending a day out of the doors so uh, actually he doesn't know anything about the participle so he thought to cut the class and uh, enjoy the day outside of the doors outside of the door is nothing but outside the classroom right so uh, he was uh, very much impressed by the uh, atmosphere of the day right uh, so how the atmosphere is like uh, it was so warm so bright the boats were uh, chipping at the edge of the woods and in the open field back the sawmill and the Persian soldiers were drilling so the it was the atmosphere described by France. So he was uh, very much uh, what uh, tempted by the atmosphere. Uh, so however it is, finally he chose to go school. Then when I passed the town hall, there was a crowd in front of the bulletin board. For the last two years, all the bad news were had come for there, the lost battles, the draft, and the orders of commanding officers. And I thought to myself, without stopping, what can be matter now? So actually, when he was uh, passed the town hall, there a group of people were watching the bulletin board where the past two years the noti the bulletin board occupied the information bad news about the lost battles and the order of uh, commanding officers and etc so here he doesn't want to i mean uh, france doesn't want to stop himself by for reading the bulletin board so instead uh, anyway it may it will be the bad news for the day so he thought running uh, continuously then i hurried as a, as fast as i could go the blacksmith uh, watches blacksmith watcher who was there with his uh, apprentice uh, reading the bulletin called after me don't go so fast bob you will get your school in plenty of time so that time along with a group of people here the blacksmith with his apprentice uh, were watching uh, were reading the bulletin board so that time the blacksmith called france that he said don't go so fast bob you will get your school in plenty of time actually france was very late to school so here he made a fun with uh, france right Yes, usually when the school began, uh, there was a great bustle. So it was the uh, great bustle is nothing but the noisy. So when the class begins, it was a great bustle and uh, which we could be here in out of the streets and uh, sounds like uh, opening and the closing the desk and the lessons were repeated, uh, what, uh, chorusly, very loud with the uh, hands of our ears and understand, understand better and the teacher's great rule is uh, rapping on the stable. So this was the classroom atmosphere which described by France, right? But that day, what happened? It was uh, full of uh, quiet that day. So initially, the classroom will be like uh, uh, noisy, and the people in the street they could hear the uh, I mean, uh, low noise of the classroom, and the children used to chorus their uh, topics of the lessons, and the teachers used to strap their rulers at the sorry on the desk and etc. But that time, that day was uh, totally different. Instead, all the people are being quiet. Okay, all the people are being. 
quiet so that time uh, it's like a sunday morning okay it's like a sunday morning which means uh, sunday will be a holiday no so it uh, like it will be like the atmosphere of the classroom that day is like a sunday morning so through the window i saw my classmates already in their places and mr hamel walking up up and down with his uh, terrible iron ruler under his arm so that time he was uh, standing outside of the classroom and he peeped through the window who peeped through the window yes here uh, france uh, france uh, peeped through the window that his classmates were uh, sitting on their seats and there uh, mr hamel was uh, going up and down with the uh, iron ruler under his arm i had to open the door and go in uh, fr- before everybody you can imagine how i uh, blushed uh, blushed uh, and how frightened i was so here everybody were in the classroom and uh, that time uh, mr hamel was uh, walking up and down so he was the only man who Franz was the only boy who was uh, in outside and he want he wants to he alone wants to open the door and he want to ask excuse so that he got a much uh, fear right but nothing happened mr hamel saw me and said very kindly go to your place quickly with little franz you were uh, we were uh, beginning without you so the time uh, actually he didn't expect that the kind word from mr hamel but he asked excuse then mr hamel said that well wow, very uh, very good come fast uh, little friends because we were uh, start beginning without you so please go to your place quickly then i jumped over the bench and sat down at the desk not till then i had got a little on my fright i did see yes so immediately he jumped on the desk and finally he settled uh, on his seat so that time he had seen that the teacher who Mr Hamel was with a beautiful green coat his uh, his uh, frilled shirt and the little black silk cap all embroidery and that he never wore except on inspection and prices so once he seated on his seat then he noticed Mr Hamel okay Mr Hamel who was with a beautiful green coat okay beautiful green coat with a silky and uh, all the hats caps and his caps were embroidery and everything usually he never wore such a dress on the regular use instead he will use uh, such clothes uh, beautiful clothes only on the inspections and the price distribution days besides the whole school seemed to the strange and so on but the thing surprised the most was to see on the back benches that were already empty the village people sitting quietly like ourselves so old hauser with a three con- con- uh, con- uh, cornered hat that um, a former mayor and the former postmaster and the several other besides so once he had uh, noticed the beautiful green coat then uh, he had a confusion why sir came uh, with a beautiful dress in this day because today is a not special day but he had a confusion and one more the Uh, what surprised thing attra- uh, surprised thing happened in the classroom is nothing but initially the lost desk of the classroom were empty but that day it was uh, covered with uh, people especially the village people like a uh, old hauser and uh, who were uh, who wore a uh, three constant cornered hat three cornered hat initially in the ancient days the french people used to wear such hats right then the former mayor former post officer and the other people village people uh, were uh, sitting back of their classroom everybody looked sad and the hauser had brought an old primer thumbed at the edge and he held it open to the kni- on his knees with his uh, great spectacles lying across the pages yeah so everybody in the last desk were uh, looked sad and that time the whole hauser brought a old primary old primary is nothing but the book uh, which was uh, used uh, previously ancient book he brought uh, like like a table books are there no so such books he brought and it was a uh, full of a uh, toad and the corner of the books were uh, full of toad and he opened the book and he kept on his knee and uh, he kept his spectacle across the pages while i was wondering about it all mr hamel mounted his chair and in the same grave gentle tone which he had used to me said my children this is the last lesson shall i give i shall give you the order has uh, come from um, berlin to teach only german in the schools of alsace and lorraine so that time he understood why these people were sitting out i mean village people were sitting outside as well as uh, mr hamel came with a beautiful coats the news is nothing but that time the uh, mr hamel announced that that my dear children this is uh, my last lesson uh, i shall give you because the berlin ordered that hereafter every school should teach only german instead of french or i mean schools sit like uh, cities of alsace and lorraine which means the city uh, the schools whichever is located in the cities of alsace and lorraine are uh, to be uh, teach only german instead of french 
the new master comes tomorrow this is your last french lesson i want to be very attentive so this however it is this is my last day of this school so i want to be attentive in my class so please listen what a thunder what a thunder clap these words were to me so this is these these words of mr hamel was one of the thunder clap to uh, france on the bridges that was they had put up on the town hall so previously when he passed the town hall when he was coming to school he passed the town hall right so that time a group of people had watching that but he didn't stop there so uh, he thought that so that was the matter which they had put up at the town hall bulletin board my last french lesson why i hardly uh, knew how to write and i shall never learn more uh, sorry learn more i must stop there then oh how sorry i was not for learning my lessons for seeking bird eggs and going slang for the sauce sauce yes so here he was a very sorry to learn the french why na because previously he did not learn anything since he doesn't know to write in french as well as he never learn any more okay because this is this was the last day of mr hamel so here after how he will learn without teacher so he thought like that so instead of uh, learning my lesson uh, i was uh, spending day by uh, searching the eggs of the birds and the uh, swimming on the sore uh, lakes and the rivers and etc my books that had seemed very noisy and the wild ago uh, so carried so heavy to carry my grammar and the history of the saints were the old friends now that i couldn't give up and mr hamel to the idea that we are going away and uh, that i should never see him again made me forget all over the rulers and how cranky he was so previously he thought that his books were very noisy as as well as it was a uh, very heavy to carry and he felt his books were uh, disturbing a uh, lots and lots right so now the man with his uh, one word i mean a uh, one sentence he made the day feel uh, bad as well as hereafter anyway i cannot see him again and uh, these words will forget about uh, the uh, rulers and the, i mean um, uh, mr hals mr hamel's rulers and everything poor man it was a honor of this day the last lesson that he had put on the sunday clothes and now i understood why the old men of the villages were uh, sitting were uh, sitting there in the back of room so now finally he understood why he was with the uh, sunday uh, dress as well as why the old i mean old men in the villages were sitting at the back of the classroom it was because of the so- where they were sorry to that they had not gone to school more anyway here uh, they uh, why did the village people as well as the uh, former mayor and the former post office had seated in the last days as well as in the last days nothing but they hadn't go to their school ever and this is a tribute as well as the showing their respect for their country as well as their teacher of mr hamel which means mr hamel uh, worked there as a master for a 40 years right as a 40 years with a faithful service so that it was one of the respect as well as the showing a tribute to mr hamel so that day they thought to spend with his class right while i was thinking all of this i heard my name called it was my turn and i recite to recite what was i <coughs> i not given to my able to say the uh, dreadful rule of the participle all through very loud and clear and without one mistake so here while he was uh, thinking about that uh, bad day and immediately he heard uh, that his name was called and uh, mr hamel asked him to recite about the participle but actually he did not actually france did not read anything about the participle but here he want to know uh, he want to say about the participle but he got a mixed up in the first words and stood there holding on my desk and my heart beating and not daring to look up so here he confused all the words uh, sorry he mixed all the words and uh, telling uh, bla- uh, blabbering something so that time his heart heart was uh, beating uh, heavily and he was uh, holding the desk tightly with a uh, fear and uh, he couldn't uh, da- he doesn't have a dare to look at mr hamel so here uh, i heard mr hamel say to me i won't scold you little friends you must feel bad enough you see it's uh, you see how it is Uh, every day you have said to yourself bye i have a uh, plenty of time i will learn it tomorrow and now you see where we have come out so finally every day what will have what used to happen in the classroom is uh, nothing but not only the day every day uh, friends will not do his homework but if the teacher asked me anything about the homework he will say tomorrow i will read tomorrow i will read so this was that same dialogue will be repeated by friends so finally the tomorrow came so where they were since uh, miss, since a friend didn't read anything i mean didn't know to uh, read anything as well as write in france right 
far that was the great trouble with uh, alsace uh, she puts off a learning till tomorrow now those fellows out there will be the right say to you how it is you pretend to be a frenchman and yet you neither speak or night or never own language so since he was a frenchman who france was a frenchman but he doesn't know to write and speak in his own language of french but you are not a worst so little france we have all a great deal of reapproach ourselves with so however it is you are not a very poor you are not very poor as well as the worst but one time will be there one day you will learn your language your parents were not anxious enough to have a learn they prefer to put you work in the farm at the mill so that you have a little uh, more money and i i have been a blame also so here he compared the, i mean he compared uh, mr hamel himself work as well as the work of Uh, France parents that so why uh, France parents send him to school instead they could uh, put him in their uh, farm and farm as well as the mill so that they could earn the plenty of money and as well as and after that why he didn't blame means uh, he didn't send you to water my plant instead of learning your lesson so instead of uh, I teaching you I could have sent you for uh, watering my plants and uh, when I wanted to fishing then I would go to the holidays not just to give a uh, holiday so whenever i want to spend a day in the river bank for uh, fishing or uh, whenever i want to enjoy that day why i didn't give you holiday which means i sacrificed my service as well as i worked here for 40 years with a uh, i mean uh, with a full of uh, patriotic in my job but here i no, i am not going to blame you so all my fault it was uh, accepted by mr hamel but actually it is not his mistake children did not learn so that he is uh, not blaming the children himself he blamed then from one thing mr one thing to another mr hamel went on talking of the french language then he discuss describe about the french language how it will be it was the most beautiful right uh, so you know uh, this is a french ma french map and uh, this is the cities of alsace and the lorraine okay so he describe about the french language that it was the most beautiful language in the world with the clearest and the most logical and uh, everybody should learn their mother tongue which means uh, whenever they see you know because when people are enslaved as long they hold uh, uh, fast to their language uh, it 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 is as if they had to key to their uh, prison and then they open the grammar and read as far lesson so everybody in the world however, however it is the people will have their mother tongue so everybody should learn their mother tongue not uh, if they learn their mother tongue to write and speak they they are not going to enslave by the other people then they opened their uh, grammar book and they started reading the lesson i was amazed to see how how well i understood it on the all he said seemed to easy easy i think to that i had never listened so carefully and so he had never explained everything with so much passion so here finally one when mr hamel opened his uh, opened their uh, grammar book and started explaining so finally it was very easy to understand all people are telling all people in the classroom are telling that it was very easy 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 to understand and everything so finally mr uh, i mean fi finally the little by friends understood that so previously i hadn't listen anything carefully so that i am in the trouble uh, also i did not learn anything about french it seemed almost as if the poor man wanted to give us all new before going away and to put in our heads on one stroke so before so actually i as i told you that it was the last day of mr hamel so before his leaving so he wanted to put everything as he could so whatever uh, he could uh, teach in the day everything he started teaching after grammar what a lesson he in writing the day mr hamel had a new copies for us writing a beautiful round hand the letters like uh, sorry words like uh, France Alsace France Alsace they looked uh, like a little flag floating everywhere in the school room hung from the hung from the rod at the top of our desk you ought to have seen how everyone everyone set to work and how quiet it was and it was the scratching on the paint so over the paper once the beetles flew in the nobody paid attention on in to them uh, not even the listless ones who worked right in the tracing their uh, fish hooks as if that a french uh, was a french too on the roof that a pigeon scored very low and that i have to myself uh, will they make them a uh, sing in german even uh, uh, even the pigeon so uh, that day once he had written on the board that uh, france all says a uh, france all says everybody started writing it's like a uh, floating flags were floating everywhere around the uh, school uh, uh, school campus right so everybody uh, started listening their uh, lessons uh, lesson and uh, nobody did not uh, i mean uh, 
uh, did not go away from the topic and uh, that time the cuckoos and the pigeons were uh, singing outside so he so here france thought that every everything is a language only the even the birds are singing whether they could sing in the french or whether the pigeon could sing uh, uh, i mean uh, sing in the uh, french so like that he thought by himself then whenever i looked upon the writing my soft is a hamel sitting motionless in his chair and the amazed uh, first at the one thing then at another as if he wanted to fix in his uh, mind it just to everything looked in the little school room so after the leaving of mr hamel whenever i see the writing of uh, i whenever i see my writing of french i could remember the mr hamel who was sitting motionless in his chair and the uh, guest at the first to one thing but here the surprise thing is that the one day is actually whenever i see the french language so i could see remember in a one day but the thing is for 40 years he had been there in the same place with his uh, garden outside the window with his uh, class in front of him just like that so for 40 days so we people are thinking in a one day but he spent a 40 days for spending the same place in the same garden to tribute i mean he was a full of a uh, patriot in his job and he fully uh, devoted himself for the village people to learn their mother tongue only the desks and the benches had been the worn smooth then the walnut trees in the gardens were taller and the hope hope find that he had planted himself uh, twined about the windows uh, to the roof how it must roof how it must have broken him his heart to leave it at all poor man to hear the sister moving about in the room above packing their trunks for all they have must leave the country next day so here the everything is going to leave the country on the next day except the thing which he had planted in the gardens like uh, the trees and the uh, hope vine uh, plants and uh, other things i mean the desk and benches everything will be here but the persons like uh, the person of mr hamel and his belonged things are not going to be here on tomorrow so the poor man is going to leave everything like uh, the trees and which we uh, which he had planted and everything right yes uh, but he had the courage to hear every lesson to the very last and after the writing he had lesson in history and then he the babies chanted their babi so this is a babies okay so babies chanted so once he completed the grammar he started i mean uh, letters he started teaching the lesson in history so why he is teaching every day say every lesson in a day is uh, nothing but as i told you that this was his last day so he was trying to teach everything he could in a day so that time the babies started chanting okay babies means uh, as i told the village people who were were sitting outside no so they were with their babies so these babies started uh, chanting down at their back of the room the old khazir had put on his uh, spectacles and uh, holding his uh, primer with his uh, both hand spell the letters with them you could see that he too was crying uh, his voice trembled with uh, emotion and it was also funny to hear him with all the wanted to laugh and cry uh, how uh, how will i remember it the last lesson so that time even the babies of the old chanter uh, sorry old hauser are uh, st- showing their emotion which means the hamel mr hamel is going to leave the day uh, leave the country the day uh, so even the babies are showing their emotion and the showing their uh, uh, i mean uh, respect to mr hamel but it was the funny t- it was the funny moment that uh, when all are being quiet immediately if any ba- babies are uh, chanted like this then people will start laugh as well as cry with emotion and everything at all once the church clock struck 12 then the anglers at the same moment the trumpets of the persians returning from a drill sounded under the windows so after everything over the church clock struck at 12 o'clock and then the moments of trumpets i mean the persian soldiers were started their drilling and uh, all are uh, sounded with their drills under our windows mr hamel uh, stood up very pale in his chair and he never saw him look so tall then now mr hamel stood up and he was uh, looking everybody in the class my friends i said he i i but something choked him but he couldn't go on so after that he, when he stood up and when he looked at everybody uh, he came to say something but finally he did not say anything then he returned to the blackboard to the piece of uh, took the piece of chalk and a bo- and a bearing on his uh, on with his uh, might he wrote as large as could we were left france it was the last sentence which was written by mr hamel on the board 
so you may, then he turned towards the blackboard and he took a piece of chalk and he wrote the sentence we will love friends on the board and then he stopped leaning uh, laid leaned uh, his uh, head against the wall and uh, without a word he made a gesture to us with his hand so he did not say anything with his word and uh, just he show just he had shown his uh, i mean a gesture i mean uh, only the sign hand sign that school is dismissed you may go so right so this was the lesson of the last lesson by who it was the last lesson by author name is alphonse dodet right yes